Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com, both free sites. Today is Thursday, July the 12th, 2018. Let's talk about Rocky Fielding's challenge of Tyron Zoiga's championship. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me just say, uh, Tyron Zoiger fascinates me. He's only a minus 333 favorite. I like him big over Rocky Fielding. I'm expecting him to defend his super middleweight title. Now, some fighters have games that don't try, don't quite translate statistically. In other words, you look at the CompuBox numbers and they're not that impressive. Right? You look at the guy's highlights, and the game looks a little bit random. It doesn't really leap out at you in terms of highlight portions of fights. But let me just say this. Uh, Tyron Zoige is uh, an advanced fighter. He's constantly changing the spacing on his opponent. In other words... He doesn't dance around the ring, but he moves just enough to cause his opponent to reset. Also, Zoiger doesn't waste a lot of punches. He's a guy who, like Floyd Mayweather, will leap in with a left hook. In other words, he's really not that much of a combination guy. He's a pot shotter. So as you look at his fights, you're not going to see him throwing a lot of punches. Rather, you're going to notice he's moving a little bit. Then it looks like he leaps in with the left hook. You'll notice, too, he has a chopping right hand that he throws in a downward motion at 45 degrees. Right? This is the shot that has him knocking out Elkbo in their rematch. He also throws, like Floyd Mayweather, a pretty good left hook to the body. Again, he's an orthodox fighter. The left is his lead hand. It's kind of sudden. But because he'll lead with power shots, when you look at the CompuBox numbers, you won't see a lot of punches landed by him. But understand a high percentage of the punches he throws are power shots. Let me say, too, that, you know, I know boxing is an athletic sport, but some athletes are better than others. You can tell this guy is a great athlete. In other words, he's coordinated. Movement for him is effortless. His opponent has to really get outside their comfort zone to keep up with Zoiga physically. So, let me just say, Rocky Fielding is a world-class fighter, but he's in over his head here, right? He doesn't have Zoiger's athleticism. He doesn't have Zoiger's legs. He can't move like Zoiger. He's going to find that the angles keep changing because Zoiger is a guy who, like Tom Brady, in the pocket in football moves just enough to throw off the best made plans of a defense in football or of an opponent in boxing, right? Let me say too that Fielding is a counter puncher. I believe Fielding is most comfortable when he's on his back foot and you're overextending yourself and he's able to then come in with counter shots. The problem is, he's fighting a fight style that's bad for counterpunchers. In other words, a Zoiger who's leading with power shots, who's not setting it up with other punches, who will just come in and then throw a left hook with bad intentions and then pivot and move out. Right? Doesn't give a counterpuncher 
a lot to work with. Right? Let me say too that if the counterpuncher isn't prepared for the suddenness of Zoiger's game, and it's sudden. In other words, if Zoiger comes in and you aren't sure if he's going to throw a left hook to the body or come up top with that left hook. This is the same dilemma Floyd Mayweather opponents face. And if you pick wrong, uh, wrong in other words, you think he's going to come up top with the left hook. So you're ready for it. And you're planning the counter, right, with your own left hand. And if Zoiger drops instead, the left hook to the body. While you're withering there for a moment, that's when you're going to see Zoiger's hand speed, which is above average. In other words, Zoiger's episodic. So to sum up this fight, I think that a counterpuncher like Fielding, who doesn't have foot speed, is going to have trouble against an explosive mover who isn't going to give him too much to counter. Let me also say too that Zoiger has a part of his game that's underappreciated. He's an excellent clincher. In fact, this guy, who's really an athlete who moves, right? This guy actually is adept inside. In other words, he knows how to, when you get inside, clinch you, slow you down. Then as you're backing up, again, this is an episodic type guy, as you're backing up, he'll get off that left hand upstairs. He'll get off that left hand to the body. Right? Really, his left hand is his best hand. I know some of these highlights are going to show that chopping right hand. But this guy, to me, is left hand dominant. Let me also say, too, that you look at his game, it's deceptively advanced, and then you find out that future Hall of Famer, former champion, Jurgen Bramer, is his trainer. Right now, understand how Bramer lost his title. Bramer was actually beating Nathan Cleverly on the scorecards. Then he suffered an injury couldn't continue. Lost the fight, right? Had to stop fighting. Lost the fight, but understand, he had the title, and he was ahead in the fight. At the time, he had to quit. Referee didn't stop the fight. Bramer had to stop the fight. Let me say, too, one of my plays of the last year, I thought this one was going to be great, it was going to be Bramer, who is advanced right who you look at and doesn't look like he is that physically gifted then you're looking at fights and you realize this guy is an angles man right this guy is a strategy man this guy has figured out that you don't want to give counter punchers punches the counter that you want to move on the tip of the pocket just long enough so that your opponent thinks you're close enough to get hit. But you're not really, and you already have your own counter plan. Right? Understand, Bramer was going to fight Callum Smith. That fight never happened because Bramer got injured. Bramer's older. Well, the caginess that Bramer brings to the table as a boxer is apparent in his work as a trainer for Tyron Zyge. Simply put, this young champion, in my opinion, is better than advertised. Now he gets to fight this fight in his backyard in Germany. I believe just objectively, he's a better fighter than Rocky Fielding, who got knocked out early by Callum Smith. I don't think Fielding makes it to the second round of that fight. And yet you're getting the better fighter, the younger fighter, fighting in his backyard at a minus 333. I like this play. I like the champion Tyron Zeuge to defend his title in Germany over Rocky Fielding.
at the minus 333 price. If you're going to hedge the play, hedge it with fielding by KO because I simply do not see how fielding is going to be competitive on the judges' scorecards, absent several knockdowns of Zoyke. I like Zoyke to win here at minus 333. I'll hedge to play with fielding by KO. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.